This is the Makita HM1810 AVT heavy duty electric braking hammer. The HM1810 weighs in at 32.3 kilograms and has a massive 44.9 TS energy at a rate of 1,100 BPM. In terms of performance, it means it's one of the hardest hitting in its class. So if you want the job done quickly, this is the tool for you. The HM1810 is powered by a 1,700 watt, 110 volt motor, which features a green power light so you know when you have power to the trigger and is also available with a trolley for ease of maneuverability. This machine can break eight inches or more of concrete. It uses one and a quarter AF hex shank and changing accessories is easy with toolless change steels. The inline motor does mean you must always use the HM1810 below waist for braking. User safety is really important, and that's why the HM1810 has anti-vibration technology that can dramatically reduce vibration exposure to 9 meters per second squared as long as you can use the machine correctly. During an average 8-hour day, you can safely use this machine for around 2 hours and 28 minutes before you reach the limit value. It's also good practice to get someone to monitor your trigger time just to be safe. And remember, to reduce vibration exposure, don't grip the handles too hard and only use sharp accessories. And finally, a couple of safety reminders. If possible, always avoid working at height, manual handling and exposure to vibration and dust. Make sure you select the right equipment and consumables for your chosen job by considering the task, the material you're working on and the situation you're in. Ensure that users of the equipment are confident and competent and that the tools themselves are in good working order. Pay extra attention to plugs, leads, casings, bits and blades. Make sure the equipment is within its safety check dates and assess all of the possible risks, including exposure to handarm vibration, dust, falling from height, manual handling and noise. And of course, always use the correct PPE and follow any site-specific instructions. If you're ever in doubt, always consult your supervisor.